Hi guys, thanks for taking some time out of your day to come and get ready with me today in my bathroom. Welcome. And yes, right behind me is my bedroom, so you see a little glimpse of my lighting setup back there. So, um, I thought that this would be a pretty fun video to do because I love watching people get ready. I like to see their makeup routines, their skincare routines, and I like the getting unready videos as well. Um, leave me some comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like these types of videos, and let's get right into the getting ready. So, first things first, I took a shower. I already brushed my teeth in the shower. That's something I usually like to do because it's a lot less messy than doing all that right here in your sink and getting, you know, gets messy. Okay, I did that. I washed my face, cleansed inside the shower. I've always kind of had like skin issues here. So, you know, I gotta be careful with what I do on my skin. I use the Aveeno Clear Complexion Moisturizer to start off with. So this is my first step in immediately getting out of the shower. I usually just get right on to moisturizing. Very important for keeping your makeup nice and even and keeping your skin nice and soft and hopefully wrinkle free. And excuse this because I know I just, this is not nice. Then I go ahead and put some of my chapstick on. I use Confetti Cake Lip Balm by Treat. I got this suggestion from Candy Johnson. She's a really good makeup artist. And actually from here I start on to my hair, or I, I move on to my hair. <laughs> because I feel like why are we going to start blow drying and all that after doing makeup and then we're gonna sweat and we're gonna sweat off all the makeup. So let's get on to the blow dry and the straightening next. Okay, so I've got all my tools plugged in, my hair straightener over here. It's Croc USA. I love this strainer. It's really good. Got this one from Chloe Brown. She's a really good hair hair um, YouTuber. She gives really good tips and tricks. Maybe I'll show you some of those in another video. Then I have my nice little trusty blow dryer here. But before I blow dry, I'm going to put in some Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine. I like this a lot because it's really, oh, I'm trying to get it out here. It's really like smoothing for your hair. It makes it all silky and soft. And it's just a really good pre-treat before you start doing anything to your hair. My hair is like semi-dry, semi-wet right now. It's like damp and it looks crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Let's get it all in there. All right. Now I'm hurt. All done with the blow drying. I'm brushing my hair out now. And yeah, I just skipped right through that part because, you know, it's loud and it's boring and who wants to see someone blow dry their hair really? <laughs> so now, as I get ready to straighten, I just get a little hair tie or whatever you call this thingy right here and put up half of my hair. And then I'll actually still half this bottom portion with one of these little clippies right here. And then I'll get right into the hair straightening, which is another thing that I'm kind of just gonna go right through because it's gonna be long and boring. And let's face it, I'm a very simple person. I like things that are quick and easy. I hate when anything takes too long or there's too many steps. I'm always in a hurry. I got three kids and I'm usually just trying to get done and get out. So I'm in the home stretch of the hair straightening here. I'm glad because like I said, I like simplicity in things. I hate anything that takes too long. And honestly, I'm not really like giving my hair all of the love and attention that it should be getting right now because I need a haircut and I'm kind of just over it. And I'm sweating now because I'm really hot from straightening my hair. So let's get on to the makeup portion after I kind of dab the sweat off of my face. I did like a basic straighten with my hair today. I really like to do the waves too with this short hairstyle that I have right now. But like I said, I need a haircut and once I refresh it, it'll feel much better. Ooh. So this is my face makeup. It's the Clinique Beyond, Beyond Perfecting. This is a really nice like full to medium coverage foundation. I go in with this next and I kind of just dab it everywhere. I try not to put too, too much on because I don't like my makeup to look cakey. I just like it to cover my redness, 
my acne, if I have a pimple that just wants to just ruin my day. That's all I really want to cover there. And I think foundation overall, it just usually gives you a nice smooth effect to your skin. So who doesn't love that? All right. So I do that. Then I have one of these little beauty blenders. I think it's like a knockoff one though. It's a really cheap one. It's not like the actual beauty blender. I'm pretty, um, what is the word? Cheap. <laughs> when it comes to makeup, I love drugstore finds on makeup. I love anything that's like a good dupe of something expensive. I mean, I do go big on the, like on concealers or face makeups, foundations, those things you should spend some money on if you have, especially have skin problems like me. Um, but when it comes to like the blushes, actually I like good blush too, Never mind, scratch that. When it comes to like the eyeliners and the mascara and the things like that, I kind of just go with cheap because it's usually the same thing as something really good, right? So I'm just blending this in. And I just want you guys to know that me being makeup free on my channel, it's like very big for me. It's a big step. I used to have such, um, I don't, I used to be so self-conscious about showing my face without makeup because I do have acne and I'm an adult, which is, sucks. <laughs> But I learned to just realize, you know what, I'm being my own biggest critic and I gotta love myself. And yeah, I'm beautiful the way I am. And we all got our flaws. So don't worry, if you have acne, you got skin problems, I feel you. I feel you, girl. And we're gonna get through this and we're gonna get beautiful with makeup <laughs> and good skincare. So I'm done with foundation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and this is almost done and it's all like worn out, but it's an e.l.f. like a, it's like a HD powder. It's a, just a translucent powder that you dab on so that you're not too like oily or sweaty or whatever. Anything shiny, you don't wanna be shiny. Okay, so now my next step is getting my eyelash curler and just curling my lashes. Sorry if I'm making any funky or ugly faces. <laughs> this is really a different point of view for me to be this close to the camera one and to be trying to look at the mirror and the camera at the same time. It takes some talent. So I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately since we've been home a lot during this whole um, COVID-19 thing and coronavirus situation, we've really been doing our part, staying home, staying healthy. Hope you guys are too, if we're still going through this by the time I upload this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've been staying home a lot and I've been letting my skin just kinda be free, free of makeup, because why do I need to waste makeup if I'm just here at home with my kids? I mean, right? <laughs> So next I go in with this um, Great Lash by Maybelline. This is, again, cheap, and this is like an OG mascara. This is one of the best. I have found lately though, that when I put mascara on, since I'm not wearing it lately, it's kind of weird. Like we wash our face every night when we wear makeup, but I feel like when you have like that, even though you wash, you still have like mascara left over technically maybe. Like, I don't know if you know what I mean, but so I don't, I'm talking too fast, I'm getting hot, I'm getting, <laughs> sorry. Anyways, the mascara. I don't have like that build up, I guess it is, from doing makeup every day. So I, I'm finding that my lashes don't seem to get as full as they were getting when I was putting makeup on every day for work. My job is one of the one places, it's a restaurant. Um, that's what I typically do full-time. I'm a waitress at a restaurant and I feel very blessed to have a job on the strip of Las Vegas because it's usually a really busy place and a really good place to work. Um, but unfortunately, due to all the whole COVID-19 stuff, um, we shut down very soon in this whole shutdown thing. And then we are going to be one of the last to come back as well. So I'm just enjoying my home time and making videos for you guys so 
Okay, so I did a couple of coats back and forth with the mascara. I did the other eye off camera because it takes too long. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I just do like two to three coats per per lash or eyelash. Eyelashes? I don't know. Each side. Oh my gosh, this is kind of dull. Probably should have sharpened this before the video, but hey, let's work with what we have. So this is like the L'Oreal Infallible. It's a really good, I love this eyeliner because it's nice and uh, what is the word? It's very dark. <laughs> that's probably not the right word, but we'll go with that one for now. That's all I could think of. It has a lot of pigment, maybe that's what it is. Okay, so this is getting dull. If your eyeliner is dull, I do not recommend putting this on because you could scratch your eye, but like I said, I'm going to roll with it since I'm already here. Okay. So I like to do the under, not everyone does this, but I love under eye eyeliner because I feel like it really brings out your eyes. And if you have like lighter colored eyes, it, it really gives you like that pop. And I don't do really eyeshadow. I do that once in a while or if it's like a special occasion. So I like it because it kind of makes me feel like I have a little more makeup on. <laughs> I'm very natural, simple, and about what's easy to do. Okay, so now I'm doing some Tarte. It's called Seduce. It's broken. Nice. But it still works. I love this blush right here. And another thing, blush is another thing that I feel just gives you that extra little oomph that makes you feel pretty. And it's a simple step, but it's a necessary step. You know what I mean? Also, something really simple is putting earrings on. Don't you guys feel like just putting in, putting earrings on your ears just gives you like that, you know, it makes you feel like pretty. Just that extra little step. Okay, so, oh, eyebrows. Eyebrows are next. I use the, right now I'm using Brow Stylist Definer, another L'Oreal makeup item. I like how it has this spoolie on the end so you can brush out your brows first, get them to a good place. I'm gonna do my best to get this on camera because I gotta kinda get up there in the mirror. <laughs> I'm doing your eyebrows. Cause to me, this is like the longest step in my getting ready process. Cause you gotta be patient on this part. It's like painting a picture. And you don't wanna go out with some funky looking eyebrows scaring all the kids. Sometimes you can go too dark too and then it ends up making you look like mad or crazy. If I do get a little too dark once in a while, I just go with a spoolie, go in with it and kind of go over it and it kind of lightens it up again. I hear some kiddos outside, so sorry if it's loud. I don't know if it's mine or the neighbors, but Sometimes I don't do the brows when I'm kind of in a hurry or just feel like I don't feel like doing all that, but I can tell you that it definitely gives you that extra, makes you feel nice and ready. <laughs> I've been told that they frame your face. Let me get some final little thing. I'm gonna get this little highlighter. I have one from Benefit, it's a little sample, but I love it. I just hit it here at the nose, under the eyebrows. It gives you that extra little pop, that little nice shine, little glow. That's the right word, glow. Last but not least, you wanna put some lip gloss on, get those lips popping. I like my lip gloss to be popping. I like anything that's nude and glossy. So that's pretty much it. My getting ready with me routine is very quick and easy. I'm gonna say it took about 30 minutes, 40 minutes total to do this whole video. And voila. Let me know what you think of my get ready with me look. It's very simple, very easy. Anybody can do it, I promise you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next video. 
Have a blessed day. Bye.